The first sutra of the Kaivalya Pada, the fourth chapter of the Maharshi Patanjali's Yoga Darshana, Patanjali Yoga Sutras. The first sutra is Janmo Shadi Mantra Tapas Samadhi Jaha Siddhayaha. Janmo Shadi Mantra Tapas Samadhi Jaha Siddhayaha. Janma Aushadi Mantra Tapaha Samadhi Jaha Siddhayaha. A beautiful sutra which enumerates various means. Methods, ways of attaining, gaining the siddhis, the powers which we have seen in the third chapter. And what are the methods, what are the ways? Five ways are given, five methods are given, five ways of getting the siddhis, attaining the siddhis. What are the five? One is Janma by birth, Aushadhi by drugs, medicines, Aushadhi. Third is Mantraha by mantras, and the fourth is by tapas, Tapaha, and the last is Samadhihi, Samadhihi, Samadhija. Ja means born, common to all, means Janma Ja, Aushadhi Ja, Mantra Ja, Tapaha Ja, Samadhi Ja, Siddhayaha, plural it is, all Siddhis. For all the Siddhis, the Siddhis are the result of birth, drugs, mantras, tapas, the austerities, or the Samadhi. That means Siddhis can be attained, can be gained, can be achieved not just by one, by five ways, by five methods, by one or more or all of this. How wonderful it is! By Janma, Siddhis powers can come as a continuation of birth. This shows, this implies that Maharshi Patanjali sticks to the Sanatana Dharmas, the concept of Karma theory and the Punar Janma Siddhanta, the reincarnation theory. He doesn't discard it. In fact, he explains it scientifically. He explains it legally and establishes that it is legal, it is lawful, it is right, it is correct. And by this particular sutra, saying that Siddhis are attained, gained, or Siddhis will come by Janma by birth. There are yogis, born yogis. Just for understanding, there are born yogis like eggs in which birds are ready to come out. Eggs are there in which birds are there ready to come out. They are born yogis. For some people, Shell has to be broken. Once the shell is broken, the bird will come out. But there are others who are like eggs, need to be hatched. So born yogis are like fields in which a field is just by the side of a reservoir of water. We have seen this example in earlier chapters. And all others, the water has to be brought from far away to the fields. 
for irrigation and of course janma by birth hindu sanatana dharma sanskriti in our culture what the sanskaras of the earlier births the essence is carried forward is brought forward and if it is at the final level then you find the siddhis are coming there are number of examples people who have not done any sadhana just by birth they gain powers and there is no further explanation there are no other explanations except we have to conclude that as we normally say what punya this man has done in his or in her previous lives it's a common statement we cannot understand child prodigies a small baby a small child renders out unbelievable unthinkable memories and there cannot be any other expression there cannot be other any other conclusion but that is a power which has come by birth janmataha by birth then siddhis can also be achieved by aushadhis drugs yes various drugs aushadhis we find in ayurveda plenty of names have been given which arouse the hidden potentialities within our self and by this effect of these drugs aushadhis chitta vrittis gets reduced thin down and the thickness gets reduced and that is how the siddhis are achieved and the mantra janma aushadhi and then the mantra yes we know that the power of mantra mananat trayate iti mantra ha it is said mananam by chanting which trayate which cuts the bondage by chanting which we cut the bondage by chanting which the chain is broken that by chanting which we get freedom that is called mantra ha gayatri mantra ha panchakshari mantra ha maha mantra ha and in the mantras we find so many varieties of mantra ek akshara mantra dvi akshara mantra tri akshara mantra panchakshari mantra shadakshari saptakshari the famous ashtakshari mantra dashakshari dwadashakshari mantra sodashakshari mantra where a beautiful sounds powerful sounds will have an effect on the person who chants it because that akshara carries a powerful potential vibrations in that a packed up energy in that and if various aksharas syllables are combined to form a particular word and the power packed in each word and the power packed in each sound of the syllable and then the combination of the entire power packed up in each syllable forming a particular word 
and various words forming a particular sentence we can imagine we cannot imagine what will be the power packed up in that particular sentence particular word particular sound that's why mantra is the most powerful means of the sadhana in our entire tradition and especially in the yoga practices manunat trayate iti mantra as we have seen in the first chapter maharshi patanjali suggests or most proposes pranava as it is japa asti pranava mantra he says tad japa tad artha bhavanam he calls it and when we come to the mantras the sound the productions the panchakshari mantra om namah shivaya om namo narayanaya astakshari sodashakshari dwadashakshari then there is a gayatri mantra om bhur bhuvassa om tat trutadre enyam bhargo devasya dhimahi dhyoyo na prachodayat the famous mahamrityunjaya mantra triyambakam yajamahe sugandhim pushti vardhanam varvarukam vandhanat mrityor mrikshiyam amritat the power of the language of the sanskrit and each sound which has a power of its and they are packed up which we have seen in the third chapter that how the sound seems to be meaningless but has a meaning of its own and so mantra has that parabitaful dimension and as a passing remark we should understand the mantra has four major expressions of the mantra one is the para pashyanti upanshu and the vaikhari a mantra which is just felt and experienced deep inside unexpressed feeling is the para pashyanti we are about to feel very deep inside the mind the mantra is chanted upanshu just at the lip level and vaikhri is with the sound and chanting of this mantras at various levels suitable to the various tendencies samskaras unknown samskaras hidden samskaras unknown vasanas hidden vasanas which can be identified by an old person who we call it as a guru and to break those bondages and to push the state of the chitta vritti nirodha the diksha is given and by chanting practicing that mantra punash charana it is called hours together days together syllable after syllable word after word mantra repeatedly yes that creates that gives to mantras powers which are hidden. it unlocks the siddhis which are already existent in our own self that is why patanjali says mantra he calls janmaushadhi mantra then tapaha yes by tapas by tapas siddhis can be attained which we have seen in entire third chapter in fact we can even just for our understanding the process of samyama the ability concentration meditation and the absorption dharana dhyana samadhi an intense tapasya needed for the indriyas indriya nigraha for the jitendriyatvam an amount of tapas needed for the vairagya yes it unlocks the powers from within the vibhutis will express itself the vibhutis will germinate in itself the vibhutis will manifest from within itself 
tapas is a wonderful method maharshi patanjali suggests in this particular sutra and the last one of course the samadhi samapattis which we have seen various types of samapattis and the samyamas which we have sufficiently understood and we were exposed in the previous three chapters about the samadhi which unlocks and which is a method which is a tool for the vibhutis so this particular sutra janma aushadi mantra tapas samadhi ja siddhaya samadhi ja he calls it this is a born from janma siddhi sar born siddha purushas janmatah aushadi ja ha a specific aushadis will push into a state of chitta vritti hi chitta vritti nirodah tapah samadhi siddhayah so this particular sutra the first sutra of the kaivalya pada talks of the five important ways of attaining the siddhis explained in the previous third chapter of the vibhuti pada let us see the second sutra om shante 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 hey